Hey, how you doing? And in today's tutorial, we are going to set up and configure CDC. Now CDC stands for Change Data Capture and it's a utility in SQL Server that tracks changes on tables essentially, shows previous values, new values, and really, really easy to set up, really handy. And it's used in a lot of organizations for auditing purposes. So to do this, I'm currently in master and we're gonna create a database called CDC. So if I create the DB here, and before we go any further, we're gonna look at this view here, and we can see everything on my SQL Server instance with this column, it's a standard column, and it shows that CDC isn't enabled anywhere currently. So to do this, I'm gonna change to use my newly created DB. You can see I'm currently running up here, and I'm gonna enable CDC. So that's the first step, nice and quick, nice and easy. And if we go back to this view here, we can see CDC is enabled. And the next step I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create an employees table. An employees table is just gonna be used to insert a few values in there. We're gonna update a few values, and then we're gonna look at the changes that have happened on that table. So let's create this table. Nice and easy. You can see it's in here, just there. This section here should only take quite instant, like a few seconds. Now what this is doing, I've enabled CDC just for this table. So if I've got 10 tables in there, it's only gonna track changes to the tables I specify. So in this case, it's gonna be the employees table and it's gonna be under this schema. So I might have another table called this under another schema. This won't track that, only the ones that I specify. So we can see once we set this up, um, if we go down to SQL Agent, it's created two jobs. CDC Capture, this is what does all the work behind the scenes and tracks any changes, puts them in your new CDC tables and that's what provides the history of the stuff that we're gonna query and we're gonna view. When we open this, we can see that it starts on SQL Agent starting. So if for any reason it stops, CDC won't be working. You'll have to manually start that. And if you've got a SQL Agent service to start automatically on restart, you'll be fine. If not, then you'll have to remember or set something up to start this job in to enable it to work. We've also got another job called the cleanup job and on setup, I think it retains up to 72 hours or three days, whichever way you want to look at it. And that'll clean up any history of changes over older than three days. So let's insert some values into our new table. Got three values in there and we can see that our values are in there. So the next step from here is we're gonna go down, we're gonna update this. So we can see that John, we're gonna update John first of all. He's got a nice salary of 60,000. Lucky John, he is getting a 2,000 pound pay rise. So we can see that's gone in there. He's now up to 62,000. And let's do some more changes. Let's update Alice. She is currently an analyst. She's also got a promotion. No pay rise though, unfortunately for Alice, just a job title change. She's a senior analyst, still on the same salary. And we can look in here and we can see that the initial values, so you pay attention to this operation column here. So these were ID number two, they are your inserts. So we inserted these values. We can see that these are all inserts. Number three is gonna be updates. So we can see that we've done two updates. And number four is going to be, so three with your updates. And that was the previous value of it. Four shows it was an update and a new value of it. So we can see that John has gone from 60 to 62 and Alice has gone from analyst to senior analyst. Now, what we can do, we can 
delete from employees. Uh, let's delete where first name equals John. So if we delete from here, we should be able to see up here in the employees table that's gone, which it has. And in our CDC view here, it should show ID number one identifies that it's been removed. And this was the value that we were at. This is really handy if you, if this was an accident and I shouldn't have deleted it, we can see exactly what that value was. Currently it's not showing us, there are functions that should provide that value, but currently it wouldn't show us what time it is, but it shows us what the value was when it was removed. So it's good to recover. Um, should we need to, and it's good from, from an audit perspective. That is CDC in a nutshell. Really great little tool, really handy. Um, not that you'll probably want to do this, but if you look at, um, still got CDC enabled there. If asked to remove this, this test, then that SQL agent job automatically should remove. And I can also stop and start just by stopping the job here and that'll stop capturing if I need to. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments, um, test it out, let me know if you've got any problems, and always happy to help.